we are talking about goi cons like uh, how goi concept is uh, different to what we write uh, the console application and goi concept is nothing but event based program where uh, user raises uh, an event hardware event or software event, means clicking on somewhere in the window and then how event gets executed so that is goi based program Okay, so we will kind of uh, concentrate uh, more on the overall picture in the architecture that how it happens means if uh, my application, my application when I write application, then I create a window and then I register the window with the uh, event manager or uh, the executor is called uh, queue application or generally it is called application so each new window creation has to be registered with the application event manager and when event comes in when event comes in then event has the specification means event type and other details and which window it belongs and then with each even uh, with whatever the window we create and we register with the uh, application and then uh, for each event we register the callback function so if event comes in and it, it has the event id and window uh, kind of uh, uh, window uh, id then as per the registration of the event and callback function then callback function is called against the application there is a inside application there is a guy means there is a class which creates a, a window and there is a uh, event manager it registers window with the event manager and then with each event that would be generated with the event with the window against the window what would be the callback function should be called that is mentioned now application when it receives event and it knows the event id and uh, a window that has to be uh, the window id of the event and event id then he knows that since this window is registered from a particular class and against the event type it knows the callback so it calls the uh, callback against the class so now class is up to what it is so this is kind of uh, intra application inside the application it happens like this now we'll talk uh, more about excel means in the bigger picture how it happens so there is application and there is application there inside the application we have window okay and one application is a one event manager is there. event manager has event queue and with event manager so many windows are registered against each window event callbacks are registered with the application application maintains event so this is inside one process okay but the hardware one process would be there are there can be many several gui process that would be running on a hardware and one hardware may not be capable of managing uh, windows and then uh, are doing uh, event with so if i have so many one application has set of windows and one event manager like that there can be so many application then so generally we go with the x server based architecture x server based architecture means there is a mediator now we have a, a user space inside that so many applications are run and then we have kernel space and there so many external hardware are connected like keyboard and mouse and then we have a screen with the uh, graphics device driver okay so uh, so in a box we have user space and kernel space in user space 
so many applications are running and kernel space is connected to the external hardware. Now, whenever a hardware event comes in, then hardware event must go to the exact, exact application. Now, inside the application, events are queued. Once events are queued, then it will go to the exact window. So, how this big picture are managed? Now, if machine, suppose that uh, a machine is, uh, this is one architecture. Now, extension to this is, there are several ma machines are running. Means, low end machine, they have good terminal, but their hardware is not that much capable that they would process each one detail. Then there is a server, dedicated server running, and inside the server, one X server runs. So, X server behaves as a mediator. And X server is kind of it, it uh, takes care of the hardware event that it receives and it processes it and then it passes to the application. Application may be running on the remote machines. So, whatever we have talked till now is inside an application, we have many windows and one event manager with an event queue. There are many applications and there are many computers and each has many applications and computers uh, they have hardware and but since they have so many applications it may not be possible for them to actually execute the hardware events and process them and send it to send it to the each application then all the computers they have a screen their hardware means their external peripherals and everything their event would go to a dedicated server. Dedicated server, dedicated server to which so many computers are connected. It receives the hardware event and it processes. So now it's clear that one application has so many windows and one event uh, queue manager like that so many applications. One so many applications, set of so many applications runs in a computer. There are so many computers and now to handle this much bigger scenario there is a dedicated computer it's called server and inside the server there is a process that is running called x server x server is a kind of uh, it is attached to kernel and in the kernel it is attached to mainly two modules one is game kernel mode, mode setting and one is evdev evdev is a so it can be considered as a kind of uh, uh, proxy device drivers i won't say that it is exact device driver but it is considered as a proxy device driver and whatever the real hardware is when hardware uh, sends the uh, hardware events hardware messages it is interpreted to the evdev and evdev in the kernel evdev uh, transform it to event structure and then pass it to X server. Now X server thinks it will go to which computer and then it will go to which application. So we have so many uh, computers. Inside one computer there are so many applications. Inside one application means one process there is one application or one event manager with one event queue. And there are so many windows. Now each computer's hardware is whatever it receives this uh, hardware event, it passes to the one dedicated computer that is called server. On the server, X server is running, and X server receives all the hardware events. So hardware events uh, generally comes from the hardware events. If you see the section, then. Uh, there is a device driver that is a uh, kind of proxy device driver that is evdev there is a kernel body and evdev receives when the uh, event uh, messages then evdev nicely it format it to event data so x server receives event data structure uh, from the evdev that would have been generated that would have generated uh, that would have had generated from so many computers so it received X server. Now X server knows the window ID and X server knows other details including the event data. 
Now it is X server responsibility to give it to which computer and then when it reaches the computer then slowly it reaches to the uh, classes uh, where uh, which owns the windows. So this is the architecture. Now the X server which is running on the uh, kind of dedicated computer it may run on the local computer also. So a local computer may have so many applications running the client it is called uh, X clients and X client they connect to the X server X server may be on the other computer or X server may be on the local computer so X clients which has one event queue manager one event queue so many windows so many classes one application there are so many processes each are called X clients so there are so many X clients running X client now they uh, communicate with the X server. X server it uh, gets the hardware events and then it processes the hardware event, do all the mathematics. And then its, uh, it's uh, job is to pass the event to the clients. Now the X server would be running on a dedicated server and X server running on the same machine. X clients, so many X clients can be running on the same machine or distributed over many computers and they talk to one X server running locally or running remotely. So we will not talk about uh, locally or remotely, we will talk about X client and X server. Now when hardware event comes in, it reaches X server through EVDEV. EVDEV is a, uh, a proxy device driver when I say that means EVDEV collects the hardware events from the, each hardware would have one device driver typically. So EVDEV receives the hardware event from the device driver and it fills the, it is a kernel module and it fills the uh, hardware messages, means reforms the hardware messages to the uh, EVDEV data structure, event data structure and passes to the X. Now the story starts that how X server uh, sends the uh, event notification to a particular particular machine and then inside the machine particular X client, when X clients receive then it is alright because it will go to the single event queue. So I mean in the X, on the particular machine or particular X, because many X clients would be running on that particular machine. So it is architecture is based upon so many X clients connected to a single X server and so many hardwares they are connected to single X server. So many clients, each client has one event queue, one event queue manager and so many windows. Now when 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 an, a process inside a, when a program it wants to kind of deal with the graphics means one I can say one X client then it registered itself with the X server. So it says that I want uh, to be registered with the uh, X server. So it has the X server IP address and port number and everything. And it connects to the X server kind of in some X display in the API and it says that please open a connection uh, or application connection. X client says I need one application connection with you. X server grants it then it has one display. It is called display data. Now one one X client, one X client has one event uh, dispatcher queue, one event dispatcher manager, one queue application. Now queue application registers with the X server and it receives a display point. Now so many windows are created on that X client process. All windows will be created against the connection what it has made the X, uh, X server. So X client inside the X client, so there are many X clients running can be on many computers. One X client initiate a display means initiate a display connection with the X server. One connection is granted, it has a display data based upon the connection. Now all the windows, all the classes which are registering with the uh, queue application, the event dispatcher in the queue client process, in the X client process they they uh, kind of uh, they registers with the event dispatcher event dispatcher finally it goes to the x server and says i want to create a window 
and this is my display data structure that I had received uh, with you because I initiated the connection. So X server grants creation of the window. Now this allows the creation of a window. The window data structure is created. Okay, so this is the story of window creation inside the scene, how it happened. We learned that any class can create a window and register with the event dispatcher, but event dispatcher now it goes to the X server and it says that I need to create a window. So X server grants a window creation. So now it comes back to the X client and window creation is granted. So window is registered. So everything is happening through X server. Now X server manages one another guy called compositor or window manager. So window manager is a kind of housekeeper, bookkeeping. Means it keeps the all the windows that is uh, actually created because windows need to be have buffer and uh, they will have entry in the final display buffer that is connected to the monitor that can be connected to the monitor. Now in the server we have two processes. One is X server and one is window manager. So window manager keep a kind of a book. So whenever X server receives, whenever X server receives a display creation, then X server grant. Against a display creation from the X client, if X server received window creation, then it uh, makes sure that window manager or compositor get entry into it. So it knows that window has what is the its geography and those kind of things. Now, when a user clicks on a window, then a click event comes to X server and X server, it finally passes since it knows the display ID and window ID of the event and event type. So it knows that which X client has requested for all these information and it passes to the X client. Inside the X client, event manager, which is monitoring the event, it knows that which class is responsible for handling the callback related to the event queue because it knows the uh, window ID and those kind of things. So the end guy, so which is executing the event uh, callback. So event callback, now it thinks what it needs to be done. Probably it needs to bring a dialog box or probably it needs to show that button is clicked. Probably it needs to bring down the kind of menu sub, sub panel. It is up to the callback, end callback. Now end callback, it whatever it uh, thinks that hint of the graphics, it sends to the queue application, queue application sent to the X server. Now X server receives the graphics changes need to be done in a particular window. Now it sent to the window manager. Now Mr. Window Manager, it receives the kind of hint that a particular window need to be created, destroyed, change its position, change its color, whatsoever. And accordingly, it would kind of uh, change its data structure. Once data structure is changed, it sends back the request to the X server. Now, X server goes to the KM. So, there are two entities in the kernel. One is EVDIP that receives the event uh, from the device driver and change it to event data structure. There is another guy called KMS, kernel mode setting. Kernel mode setting, finally it receives the uh, graphics uh, uh, kind of uh, display, what need to be changed and it does it. So it has the actual display buffer driver and display dri buffer driver does the change. So this is X11 or X org architecture. In X org architecture, what we saw that there are X clients, X client, we have event manager, which manage manages event queue, and each means one X client has one event manager, and event manager has so many windows connected to it. So this is one process. So X client is a process, and there can be so many X clients running on a single machine, and there can be so many X client can uh, there can be so many machines executing so many X clients means uh, iteratively or at the same time. So many X clients on so many computers, they are connected to X server on their own machine or to a dedicated server. X server is connected to another guy called window manager and it communicates with the kernel. Kernel has two entities that is interested in for 
one is ev dev ev dev receives the in, uh, event inputs and passes it to kernel changing the event uh, uh, message sequences to the event data structure and there is another guy called kml which deals with the uh, graphics uh, kind of hardware now x server when it receives the event then it has the uh, all the details of the event now this is one scene in another scene x clients inside the x client there are guy who are interested in creating windows a window they register window with the event manager and they also register event at event time window manager keeps all the bookkeeping and then it opens a display connection with the x server one connection once the display connection is ready then against that display connection it requests so many window creations as per what request it receives once the window connection uh, uh, once window a uh, creation is approved then it start it, it uh, kind of it approve the window creation who is but actual window creation x server passes this uh, information to the window manager so if, if x client says i want to create a uh, first it says i want to create a display data structure go to x server x server allows because the uh, now display server has all the monitor related information is x server can allow x server allow to the x client the x client once it receive window creation it passes to the again the display data structure what it has received to the x server and x server goes to window manager for the window creation window manager keep the keep bookkeeping and allocate data structures and it returns that yes and then it returns back x server to the x client that yes and then x client the window creation routines they keep the window id that's it now once x server it uh, receives the event then based upon the event it know that which display has reserved uh, for this window for this event it go to the x client and then all the details are handled and then finally call back uh, routines are called again the event and inside the call back routine whatever the a uh, window graphics need to be changed then through x client means uh, queue uh, application it comes to the x server x server goes to the window manager for the changes window manager change data structure approves and it goes to kms and kms finally does the same this is one scenario second scenario is how events are getting called means when ev dev receives the event it passes to the x server then x server maintains the queue and keeps the event. each x client they are in infinite loop and they start they keep uh, uh, peeping or peeking or they keep extracting their events passing their display id and uh, mainly their display id once x server receives the uh, event uh, fetching uh, api so all the x client in their infinite loop they keep sucking their events from the x server. okay so they keep receiving once the event is received in the x client then events are processed and they goes to the event callback so the guy the who kind of uh, uh, is uh, uh, p <laughs> I means he was the guy who is a specialist in doing the most active guy is the uh, queue application queue application not only register with the x server it keep fetching all the event that is it belongs to it and it receive the event inside the event it has window id and everything and then it uh, sends back the uh, it then it calls the callback so this is how it happens it means x client not only register with the x server then it not only send the request it keep of uh, executing the event loop inside the x server and fetching its request repeatedly and then it is uh, getting so then it uh, get it executed and then execute request is sent to x server and then x server consult the window manager data structure change and finally through kms the actual uh, hard actual hardware graphic is changed so this is the final scenario but as the a life is changing x server developed 30 years back and many code in x server now they are coming to kernel itself so x server is just waiting uh, behaving as a as an as a mediator and it it has not all the code it used to have now it is coming in inside the kms 
Now there are many things uh, uh, in the kernel itself, not only KMS. Uh, there are other smaller modules also. They are handling the graphic input. So idea is that when X server is not doing all the stuff nowadays, and window manager, it is just to uh, shift things in here and there. It is not doing things very rather than just maintaining the event queue. There is the idea to, to merge the X server and window manager or window compositor to one guy called composite. So that is something that we will talk about that is called Wayland architecture. So in Wayland architecture, X server and window manager, they are clubbed together called compositor. Now compositor is talking to all the X clients and it is talking to kernel and then getting things done. That will 